Hello Forza Racing Network, Mike Seddon here, also known as MS Custom Works, and I'm here with a quick tutorial just on how I get my photographs looking as sharp as possible in Forza Horizon 2. I'm here in Sisteron with my Vauxhall Astra VXR, and without further ado, let's begin the tutorial. So the first thing you're going to notice straight away is that we're only going to be using the top three sliders for this tutorial. Uh, basically your exposure and colour and contrast and brightness. I shall leave to yourself as it's personal preference, but you will notice as well that my brightness slider never moves from the default as I find messing with that gives a really milky uh, effect to the photographs. So the first thing you're going to want to do is define a focal point on the car. And I've picked one here, I'm going to use the little indicator bulb right in the headlight there. So you zoom right in and focus your image by hitting X. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is set your aperture to about 50 or 60 just to give you a very shallow depth of field because it will help with lining up the image in the next step. And once you've done that, refocus the image. Now, once you've done that, you want to very gently start moving the focus slider up and as you can see, as you do that, the picture will go very trippy. It's almost like you're on drugs. But you keep doing that until the picture lines up with itself as best as it can. As you can see, I'm going to get it as close as I can with that setting, which is absolutely fine, and hit X once again to refocus the image. Now that you've done that, you can then zoom out to your desired focal length. I'm going to be using about two and a half, maybe two, yeah, 2.3. Once you're repositioning your camera, I must advise you do not move the left stick as this will put your camera out of focus and you have to start the whole thing again. So when you're positioning your camera, you can use the roll by any chance, but don't adjust the height with your triggers or don't use the left stick. So what I'm gonna do now is set my aperture down to about 10 to 15. I don't tend to use a lot as I've noticed that even with the low settings on the newer, newer Forza games, it does give you quite a desired effect with a low setting. And once you've done that, you'll notice as well, we don't need any shutter speed because the car is not moving. I'm just going to bring the Yaris that's also parked in the car park into a bit more focus. And there we go. So that's your finished product. Obviously you can see why I like coming to Sister on at night because the street lights in this car park give a very realistic feel to the pictures. Any questions you have with regards to further taking the photos, don't hesitate to ask either myself or a few more of the experienced photographers on Forza Racing Network. And all that's left to say for myself is happy snapping.